Well, new tonight at 6, airmen from Fairchild Air Force Base stand ready with NATO in Europe. Russia's push towards Kyiv, the capital of Ukraine, seems to have stalled. The fears now turn to Moscow's use of chemical weapons on the people who stayed to protect their homes. In our crisis in Ukraine coverage, I spoke with the former U.S. Secretary of Defense. He gives us an inside look at the war in Ukraine. Just three years ago, four-star General James Mattis served as the U.S. Secretary of Defense. He commanded forces during the Persian Gulf, Afghanistan, and Iraq wars, and served as NATO's supreme allied commander. War is his business. I can only look away if I want to lose my moral compass. We'd better look at it. Uh, these are innocent innocent people. We caught up with the retired general during a lecture series at WSU, just a short walk from where he was born. What are our chances <clears throat> that will actually escalate into a direct confrontation with Russia, Russia right now, in your opinion? Well, first of all, it's a good question to ask. It's not one you can deny and push away, say, I'm not going to look at that. I'm going to go whistling past the graveyard. Uh, wars are fundamentally unpredictable. Mattis says the unity of the European Union and NATO will help limit the expansion of the war. However, he doesn't think it will stop President Putin from escalating atrocities to chemical weapons as Russian troops fail to take the capital of Kyiv. The idea that he wouldn't use them, I, I think, would be naive. In 2014, Russia invaded the Crimean Peninsula right as the European Union opened its doors to Ukraine. Mattis says as more countries moved towards Western philosophy, Putin became more aggressive. You can look at economic triggers, I think, more than a lot of people have right now. With Germany stopping the opening of Nord Stream 2, the major gas pipeline from Russia to Germany, Russia is feeling the pressure even more. But so is Germany, as it and much of Eastern Europe relies heavily on Russian energy. Putin has upended the security architecture with the biggest ground war, biggest war in Europe since World War II. He does think there is a way out of this war. The continued sanctions and a diplomatic bridge out of the mess he's created for himself. A way for Putin to save face in front of his people as thousands of conscripted Russian soldiers die in a foreign country. Mattis also says those sanctions must be widespread and there's uncertainty surrounding what China will do. Its leader, Xi Jinping, seeming to back President Putin. Not only have they not condemned it, uh, they've amplified the lies coming out of Moscow. For now, the four-star general believes the United States is hitting on all cylinders and U.S. troops are right where they need to be. In light, light of the unity of NATO, they have probably never been in a stronger position where every ally is standing with them. And I would add that this is what Americans of every generation have done. They've stood up for freedom. They've stood up to say no further. And just a little background, General Mattis was born in Pullman at the University Hospital at WSU. He went to Central Washington University for three years. He was supposed to talk with WS students two years ago, but because of COVID, that was postponed until yesterday. It was nice to pick his brain about some of the situations happening in Eastern Europe. Absolutely. That was a very insightful report. Thank you for that, Aaron. Of course.